I write to you, little children, because I want you to know your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. And then he also tells them, I, I, I want you to know that you know God now. You, you know God now as your father. Okay? Uh, now, I want you to see that he's talking to them on this. If we go back, we're going to do a little bit of reading uh, this morning. <clears throat> And we're going to start right, right here on verse 1. My little children, these things I write to you, so that you may not sin. If anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Did you hear what he just said? He said, I'm writing to you so that way you don't keep missing the mark. So you don't keep sinning. And then what did he say right after that? But... If you miss the mark. Did you see it? But let's say you do miss the mark. Let's say you do sin. He said, I want you to know you have an advocate. Did, did anyone see it? Did it see what's going over here? He said, I want you to know there is somebody standing in the gap for you, paying the price for you. Tell your neighbor, you're still God's child. See, your mistake, your failure did not, did not void the adoption uh, of papers. Y'all didn't hear me. You're still, someone say, you're still his child. So first of all, when we get saved, the first thing that needs to be built up in your life is that, look, my sins are forgiven. Amen. Come on, someone say, my sins are forgiven. Jesus paid the price. So now I can know God. Now I can know God. I can know him. I have personal relationship with him. I can grow in him. And, and nothing you do is going to remove that. 